Philadelphia police unveil their plan to curb crime and drug problems in Kensington, but they warn it won't be easy. We are going to give hope back to a community that has kind of has lost hope. Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Yuki Washington. Philadelphia police are vowing change is coming to Kensington. As Dan Snyder reports, leaders say their goal is to bring a sense of normalcy back to the long troubled neighborhood. It's not like we have a comparison anywhere in America to give us a playbook of how to do this. Philadelphia police are unveiling their plans for the daunting task of cleaning up Kensington. They call it a strategic plan that aims to crack down on rampant and open drug use and sales in one of the most violent areas of the city. Consistently, this area has been number one in the city of Philadelphia with shooting victims and homicides. And so I will make no excuses for the fact that we will go down there in a much more uh, forward posture that we will be making arrests. Monday marks the official start of phase one of the five step Kensington initiative. Flyers will go out to the community offering resources for housing and treatment and letting residents know what they should expect over the summer. That includes a larger police presence. And we will be moving 75 men and women from the Philadelphia Police Academy who will graduate next week will move into the Kensington pocket. Police say most of these officers will be on footbeats, allowing them to be more visible and to make important connections with the community. That explosion of collaboration is what we're really trying to, to, to jump on and build on to really be able to make effective change. Police say they understand the challenges of this operation and will be flexible as it progresses. And they say they feel real energy behind the plan thanks to support from city leaders that hasn't always been there. This is the first time in a long time that we've had the will to really commit resources. Commissioner Bethel says even as police move through their phases, the work to get people into housing and treatment will continue throughout the process. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia.